Good morning, everyone. I've got to admit, I was not prepared today to talk about Satan. But I am prepared to talk about the soul of Risk V and reflect on the real purpose of Risk V, which is to drive innovation in compute and have an open forum, an open platform for us to collaborate together and drive efficiencies and to drive capabilities in the compute space. There's a lot of corollaries to this, to micro, microchip. In microchip, we have a very broad portfolio of leading edge technologies. We really focus on that collaboration so we can provide total system solutions so that we engage with our end customers, they can quickly innovate and we can wrap total system solutions around that and bring them to market very quickly. And early in this process, we realized that the flexibility of the most power efficient FPGAs with the open ISA and the openly accessible fabric of RISC-V architectures could be an exceptional innovation platform for ourselves as a vendor and for our customers. This all started in December of 2015. We were an early player in RISC-V. We had a customer, an aerospace customer, approach us and say, listen, we've got a challenge. We need to attach a unique size of cache to a microcontroller and bring it to market in six months. Can you develop this for us and implement it within your FPGA fabric? And Ted Spears, a fellow in microchip, looked at this and he said, listen, the real key here is time to market is the accessibility of this fabric. And the, the most accessible technology available is RISC-V. So we think I need, we need to move forward with RISC-V. So we quickly collaborated with sci 5 with their heritage within the Berkeley University and the, the development of RISC-V. We thought that they were the cleanest way of getting to market very quickly. So we became sci 5s first RISC-V customer. And within six months, we had our first happy RISC-V customer, and we had started innovating with RISC-V. That same, from that moment forward, we then introduced a suite of microprocessors which allows our customers to continue to innovate with RISC-V microcontrollers. That same month, we were taping out our first Polar Fire device, and Polar Fire is the most power efficient mid-range FPGA in the market. And Ted was looking at this, and by the way, Ted was enamored with RISC-V. He was already at that point in time on the board of directors of the RISC-V Foundation. But he'd, he'd investigated the markets broadly and said, you know, what if we actually innovated the entire microprocessor S system on chip inside PolarFire for Polar for SOC? How could we further differentiate our solutions and, different, and allow our customers to differentiate in the market? So we immediately started working again with sci -Fi. And as Patrick showed the pictures, you know, we were working with Andrew and Yunsup and Krista, and we, we looked at how to optimize our solutions. And we, and we um, optimized them such that we could deliver PolarFire, the complete core complex, together. Microchip PolarFire FPGAs are twice the power efficiency of a competition. And it's very measurable, and it's been true for the past five years. Our, off, our products offer 40 to 70% less power consumption than the competition. And this has a profound effect on end customer applications. Our products simply run much cooler than the competition. So customers can remove heat sinks, they can remove fans, they can simplify chassis, they can shrink opexes. We actually have one customer that historically was using a, another product for their portable ultrasound appliance. They could plug it into a mobile phone and they can assess patients. But after three minutes, they would have to stop the assessment because it's too hot and it's too uncomfortable for the patient. With Polar Fire, they can diagnose patients for over 20 minutes. That's a profound difference in innovation and capabilities for doctors. Along with this power efficiency advantage, we also have zero single event upsets, which means that we can take polar devi fire devices into the depths of space. And you don't have to worry about the high energy particles changing the configuration of the FPGA. And likewise, 
we offer military-grade security, which means that we're the root of trust for servers and for heavy, heavy in industrial uh, infrastructure. So this was the platform we were wanting to design our Polifar SOC platform on top of. So the first and most important aspect was we wanted to innovate with RISC-V to maintain our power efficiency advantage. And we've achieved that. We have an SOC solution that's twice as power efficient as anything from our competition. Sci-Fi was also working on asymmetric processing capabilities. And we collaborated together and optimized this for our FPGA fabric. So this allows that all of our four cores can be either used in Linux mode or in real time. And we therefore said, well, we want to have a more flexible L2 cache. We made a larger L2 cache. We made it so that it could be partitioned in unique ways for depending on if you need Linux or real time and for the varying applications that an FPGA invariably supports. So think about the application's impact and the ability to innovate from a customer's standpoint. If you're designing a drone, you could have our, micropro our FPGA microprocessor is running your Linux. At the same time, we could also be running your real-time applications, such as multiple six-axis motor control for your rotors. They can be operating up to 100,000 RPM. We can manage your entire image pipeline, the video stream. We can apply AIML from our fabric, such that you can do an object identification and classification. We can help you manage the controlling process thereafter. And we can do that all by offering two times more power efficiency than the competition, which means you have better flight times. We're immune to SEU, we have world-class security, and we'll supply you products for the next 30 years. So imagine what you can do with the possibilities of this in other market spaces. From industrial, to medical, to automotive, and to the depths of space. Microchip is the largest provider of space products of anyone in the industry. We not only provide FPGAs, we enjoy, provide total system solutions for space. So as Patrick discussed earlier, we were very enthusiastic and happy to be chosen by NASA JPL to lead their efforts in delivering the next generation of high performance space compute. And RISC-V will be at the center of developments of space exploration for the next one to two decades. Another aspect of the capabilities for HPSC is once again, as I mentioned, microchip offers total system solutions. So not only can we provide the HPSC ASIC itself, but we can offer memories and timing, power management chips, discretes, and of course our FPGA and microcontroller capabilities. So we were very happy that we could have the opportunity to talk in depth with NASA and JPL about our next generation FPGA technologies coming to market. We're very excited today to give you a peak sneak, sneak peek view, sneak preview of Polar Fire 2, which doubles the power efficiency again. So if you think about designs on the edge, Power efficiency is kind of like oxygen. The more you have, the better you're at, you're better at at any given sport. And right now, Polar Fire offers the most oxygen, the most power efficiency of any product in the market. And as the competition announces their new technologies, they're simply trying to catch up with Polar Fire. So as Polar Fire 2 doubles our efficiency again, imagine the innovation that will be available to our customers. We'll be able to offer twice as much performance in the Polar Fire 2 fabric while consuming the same amount of power. And likewise, when we look over to the SOC versions, the, the full complement of compute elements, once again, we're partnering with Sci-5 on our fourth generation technology together and everything we're learning together, but how to apply that into edge compute markets we'll be offering 15 times more teraops per second performance than our current polar fire architecture. And again, when we talk about oxygen, we really need to thank everyone in our ecosystem. 
This is where the oxygen really comes far to, and a lot of the presentation today is stressed, about the advancements and the capabilities of the RISC-V platform. So we want to thank all of our partners tremendously for all the efforts and the partnering we've done to help create our My5 platform as a premier platform developing RISC-V. We're very excited to be here today. Uh, we, are very, we encourage you to see Pete Fiacco's presentation tomorrow at 9.45 on the HPSC platform. And please do join us in our booths here at booth PG5 and Hall 2. Thank you very much.